All right, friends, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool circuit bug with just these materials here. You will have a clothespin, four wires where we've got uh, some of the insulation stripped here at the end, two LEDs, some electrical tape, and then your choice of um, pipe cleaners for decoration. So this particular guy here used two orange pipe cleaners. Just two orange pipe cleaners and then one blue pipe cleaner. So I'll show you how to make them. We also have a button battery here. Now be careful with the button battery because um, this is not for young kids. If you swallow it, it can really hurt you. So keep this away from any younger siblings, right? This is our power source right here. So as I make my circuit bag, I'm gonna end up constructing this exact same one right here. Okay, so I'll kind of show you as I go through. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take a look here at my LED lights. Now, if you remember from our incandescent bulbs in class, I have, um, in order to complete a circuit right here, this is kind of like my base wire and then my casing wire, where my longer lead right here is my positive end, and then my negative end is my shorter one. So if you really take a look, you notice how one of them is longer than the other one. Since we're going to be creating a parallel circuit, it's important that we keep track of those. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire and wrap it around my positive lead. So again, my positive lead is the one that's a little bit longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and bend this negative lead out of the way so I can wrap my wire around the positive lead. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of electrical tape to secure that so that doesn't end up poking me. Just a little bit of electrical tape. Okay, and so I want to do that same thing with my other LED and get myself a little bit of electrical tape going for that. So I'm going to take another wire, get my negative lead out of the way, and wrap my wire around this positive lead. Okay, little bit of electrical tape so it doesn't poke you. All right, so now theoretically I should be able to touch my battery here and it should be able to work still. You see that? That lit up right there. And I just want to make sure that that electrical tape didn't goof up my circuit at all. So I'm just making a simple circuit to troubleshoot just that light. Okay, that works still. So I'm going to do that exact same thing with my other two wires around my light negative leads. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of my electrical tape ready for that. getting a little pieces of electrical tape. I've got my other wire. Oh, you know what? One step I forgot to mention. So I'm holding on to my um, positive leads, right? My longer leads. And I want to make sure that I keep my positives together. So here at the end, what I'm holding on to, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my positive lead wires together. Okay. So now I've got just my negative leads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing with my negative leads. Okay. 
Okay, wrap that together. A little bit of electrical tape to keep that secure. And so it doesn't poke me. Okay, so that one is going off of my negative lead right now. I'm going to do that same thing with my other one. So this will be a parallel circuit because each LED will have its own path to electricity. Okay, again, a little bit of electrical tape to secure that. Make sure it doesn't poke me. I'm going to take my negative lead, my negative lead, and go ahead and twist those together right down here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and test the circuit again to make sure anything I've done is not disrupting the circuit. Okay, do you see how both of those lit up? So now I know I'm in good shape right now. If yours doesn't light up, you might try flipping the battery, okay? Because we remember that it goes from the negative to the positive. So as I take a look here, notice how it does not work, okay? So when I flip my battery over, they do light up. Oof. Okay, not working. Still not working. Okay, it was working a second ago, so let me see what's up. Lots of patience required here. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, it's working now. So I think my finger, something must have just been in the way. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my clothespin here. Notice how these LEDs are on the end of the clothespin. This part where the clothespin actually closes is where your battery is gonna go, okay? So this part here is where I'm going to affix my LED lights. I'm gonna use another little piece of electrical tape in order to secure that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of my electrical tape to make that happen. Okay, so I've got two pieces of electrical tape. I'm just gonna keep that handy. And I want my lights to be about the same size and the same distance. I'm going to be really careful in this part to make sure that when I set mine up that I bring them all the way down right here so that my light is right at the end of my clothespin going to use some electrical tape to secure that. Okay, same thing on the other one right here. I'm going to fix it. I like these to be matching. Just visually, but you do you. It's your bug. little bit of electrical tape to secure that. All right. So now I essentially have the body ready. And I've got all these wires right here that need to have this conductive part right on the inside. And this conductive part needs to be right on the inside. So when I insert my battery, I have the flow of electricity reaching both sides of it. So in order to do that, I have to get a little creative. Okay, I'm gonna start twisting this. 
Now I could cut the wire, right? But then I'd have to strip the end again. And if you've got scissors or an adult at home that can help you do that, that's, that's a really good idea. But I'm just gonna kind of bunch this up. I'm gonna begin to wrap this around. And the trick is I wanna get this metal part, that conductive material, right here on the inside. Okay, so do you see how I've got that metal part right there on the inside? That's where I want it. I might even use a little bit more of my tape. I'll make sure that you've got plenty of tape when you do this, just to secure it. Now, this electrical tape is an insulator, so you have to make sure that when you use it, that you leave that conductive part there on the outside. So I'm just going to use this a little bit right here just to secure it down. But not so much that I miss that, okay? So just a little bit, but I wanna make sure that I've got most of that conductive material on the inside right there. Okay, same thing with this other side, I'm going to go ahead and stretch that. I want that conductive material on the inside. So I can go ahead and test this with my battery right now and make sure. Okay, right now it's not working. I'm gonna flip my battery. And that's not working. Okay, so that tells me I've got some of this conductive Tape, I mean electrical tape. Too much of it in use. Let me try it without any tape. Oh, there, do you see that light up? So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it be. Now I'm ready. Now my bug is essentially made, right? Now it's the fun part to go ahead and decorate this. So I want my body to be orange. So I'm just using these pipe cleaners just to cover up all that circuit and that ugly part of it. And this is where you can be very, very creative. Okay. No bug needs to look just like this. This is your creative part to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use another pipe cleaner here. Just covering up those icky wires. All right. So I can use this end and just sort of tuck it underneath another one so that it's secure. Then I'm ready to create my wings. All I did to create my wings was I set this and I put stuck it in between one of those. And then I brought it in. And I brought it in. Circuit bug. Thanks for watching, friends. Have fun with your 